as you mm -hmm. said, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that must. So you going to all these different places and even Tibet and Mongolia and mm -hmm. everything like that. So, I mean, we have, I guess we've already talked about it a little bit, but maybe you could just expand a little bit more about this. You feel like this, you know, humanity, yeah. this, the common mm -hmm. humanity there that, that goes back to the very roots, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think especially with uh, the folk music, that's really. Um, coming from a place that's about just living and life and the joys and the sorrows, you know, yeah. that's, that is folk music and yeah. anybody can play it and that's the point. It's the yeah. music of the people. Yeah. Um, I, I would even argue that in modern day probably the simpler forms of pop rock are kind of like uh, the modern day folk music yeah. to a certain extent mm -hmm. and yeah. I would just love to see armies of armies I say armies but peaceful armies of musicians coming over here and learning Chinese and getting excited yeah. about it and having these kinds of collaborations and you know the stronger those ties are under the surface of sort of the more uh, the paradigm of political discussion for guiding the future I, it, th that's where the, that underground that swell the underbelly right. of what's happening amongst the people is where the real the real solidarity and the real the real change is going to happen so I, I hope Mm -hmm. I just hope so many more people come over here and do this. I don't want to do. I don't want to be a novelty. Right. People are always right, like, "Oh right. wow, you really pick something to get your attention. You're really a novelty." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, this is my life. This yeah. is how it's unfolded, and I and this is it. it simply is a manifestation of what's happening in the world. In my life, is just sort of representative mm -hmm. of what can happen. Yeah. And I, I would just love to see it happening to a lot of people, or a lot of people choosing yeah. to to make. Yeah, and I think it's important that you uh, are obviously. I mean. Uh, w what I really like about about you as being someone who's lived here a long time and, and, and like you respects this culture I sometimes feel uncomfortable when somebody comes from outside the culture and they don't speak Chinese they don't really understand but they, they've got some music could be really cool music or really good stuff I mean, whatever but there's a certain attitude of you know I'm gonna bring my stuff here and you know plant the seeds and everyone's gonna worship me and it's really great you know <laughs> and and you're someone who doesn't fit into that mold at all you're someone who's came you know from the inside you learn Chinese you're singing in Chinese mm -hmm. you know writing and, lyrics in writing Chinese. lyrics in Chinese. I mean this is wonderful uh, you know what you're doing and uh, maybe you could talk a little bit more about how Chinese music or Chinese you know the, the music scene is influencing you and changing oh, your yeah. music well well I, I chose to study American traditional study learned to play some American traditional songs because of China because yeah. China I just saw how deep deep and rich this culture is I mean this culture it's like, wow just what that covers it blows my mind yeah, it's really many cultures it's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah. it's it's just profound and shocking yeah. and amazing and overwhelming and um, I, it's it humbles me constantly so just to get to be on the edges of it, letting it infect who I am and how I function, is, um, it's a privilege. Yeah. And I, I wish other people felt like that. I, I wish it wasn't a consumer-oriented approach to China, which is pretty much yeah. what defines the way Americans think about China. Right. Uh, you make the goods, I'll consume them, I'll come there, I want you to give me what I want, which is to be important, to feel like a star, to feel special, because I don't at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that. I want people to, to think about their approach to China with the same intent. The golden rule, you know, mm -hmm. treat others as you'd want to be treated and to find a lot of meaning because of that exchange. And I, I just wish more of that would happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's an important thing is that China is such a challenge to Americans because it doesn't easily fit into their right. understanding of mm -hmm. themselves as a consumer. Right. You come over here and you serve. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't come over here and get what you want. Mm -hmm. And, and I think that's okay. I've come to the point where I'm okay with that. Things don't go the way I want them to. I end up in really awkward situations. I end up having to compromise constantly. Mm -hmm. But it makes me a better person. Yeah. It makes me a better global citizen. Yeah. And I, I would like other people to experience that because it's so enriching. Yeah.